A first look at candidates' cash for campaign 2024, and so far, very small amounts of money being raised and spent. Channel 3 political reporter Calvin Cutler joins us live in studio now. Calvin, who's ahead in this cash dash? Yeah, Kat, it's early, but this is our first look into fundraising data, which helps us get a better sense of where candidates gather their support from. Now, the latest reporting period for statewide candidates runs from July of last year to March 15th. Governor Phil Scott, who has still not said whether he'll seek a fifth term in office, raised about $3,600 and spent about $13,000. Now, Scott has over $330,000 in the bank from previous campaigns. All right, so Calvin, the governor not doing much fundraising so far. He does not either ha also have a high-profile Democratic opponent. What are we seeing there? Yeah, Kat, so Scott's only declared Democratic challenger, former Middlebury Union Middle School Administrator Esther Charleston, threw her hat in the ring in January. And so far, she's raised just $1,700 and spent over $6,000. Now, Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger has also expressed interest in running, but he has not announced and did not file a campaign finance report. Calvin, Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman also has not declared whether he's going to seek re-election, but he has also been floated as a potential candidate for higher office. So where is he gathering his support from? Well, mostly from small-dollar donors. Zuckerman has received over 250 contributions of less than $100. Now, fundraising-wise, he's raised just shy of $30,000 and spent about $17,000. Now, again, Zuckerman has not declared anything, however. Cap. And Calvin, anybody else reporting in the campaign fundraising in Vermont so far? Well, Treasurer Mike Pichek is seen as a rising star in the Democratic Party, and his fundraising appears to be backing that up. Now, right now, he's expected to seek re-election to the Treasurer's office. He raised $106,000 from 261 people, and he spent about $27,000. Now, this is just the first look at early campaign activity. We're likely to see this ramp up when the legislative session ends. The state primaries are on, are on August 13th. Calvin, speaking of the legislature, this is kind of interesting. You're learning dozens of lawmakers are out of compliance with the law. Yeah, that's right, Kat. The deadline to file campaign finance data was on Friday. But as of this morning, just over half of the state Senate has not filed. And over a third, 62 state representatives have not filed either. Now, individual lawmakers are barred from fundraising during the legislative session. But they're also still required to report how much cash they have on hand and if they are spending. Now, there's no penalties for candidates if they're out of compliance. But the Secretary of State's office tells me that there are penalties for lobbyists if they don't file. Political reporter Calvin Cutler following the money for us tonight. Thank you.